So I was browsing around on YouTube today and I happened across this guy named Luis who's a cab driver in Brazil. And I thought, hmm, Brazil, that's exotic. It's been about 25 years since I've had geology, but if I recall, Brazil is somewhere around Mexico or Texas, but it's really far away. So I watched some of his videos about 250 times, and his deal is that he looks like this guy who supposedly plays baseball for the team San Francisco Giants named Tim Lincecum. Well, I don't follow baseball, so I don't know who Tim Lincecum is. So I did some research and ran across some magazines that were just randomly laying around my house. I don't know how they got there. Uh, there's GQ, which I don't know what that stands for, but this is Tim Lincecum, a picture. And then Sports Illustrated, and there's Tim again. I really didn't see any resemblance uh, between Luis, the cab driver, and Tim Lincecum. If you want to look at his videos yourself, Luis's YouTube name is Luis Linz H. That's L U I Z L I N S and the number eight. For one thing, Luis is actually pretty hot, and Tim is kind of funny looking. And then Luis looks really tall in his videos, and Tim looks pretty short, so I'm not seeing the resemblance. But Luis is asking Tim for a million dollars just because he looks like Tim. I'm like, why didn't some me, somebody give me a million dollars for looking like, I don't know, whoever I look like? That's never really happened to me. So I have a proposal for Luis, okay? Okay. First of all, why don't you ask Tim for $1,150,000 and give me $150,000 because I am a veterinarian and I went to veterinary school, which was really expensive. And I'm in a lot of debt, which makes me depressed a lot of the time. And um, secondly, Luis has offered to give everybody in Brazil, I guess, a free cab ride on Friday, March 18th, which would be great, you know, because I need a ride that day. I really need a ride. I need a ride from the La Quinta Inn in Phoenix, Arizona to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, which is in Arizona. Um, but that's kind of far away from Brazil, I guess. So I Google mapped it and it looks like Brazil is 5,782 miles from Arizona. And I calculate, okay, Luis, listen. If you start driving today at 70 miles per hour from Brazil to Arizona, it will take you 3.44 days to get there. So it'd be really nice if you could uh, just show up at Arizona to give me a ride to the airport from my hotel since you made that nice offer. And it's not like you're not going to be getting anything for this. I do appreciate people's kindness. What I will give to you if you A, give me $150,000 of Tim Lincecum's money and B, give me a ride to the airport are three things. First of all, I may have mentioned that I'm a veterinarian, so for whatever you need for your chickens or your goats or whatever animals that you have in Brazil, I will give you lifetime free veterinary services. I, I promise you. Secondly, I was so inspired by you, Luis, that I drew a quick little sketch of you this morning. And I'm actually a pretty famous artist, so here's here's a sketch of you, Luis, the Brazilian cat driver. Lovely little sketch. And some people might think that this looks like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, but it's actually not. It's actually a picture of the longest suspension bridge in Brazil named 
the Ponte Persilio Luz. Look it up, I'm not lying. So, a copy autographed of this lovely portrait, which is worth millions in itself. And thirdly, I, I have an extra ticket to San Francisco Giants spring training game on Friday, March 18th. I was hoping that Stefan Lassard, the bass player of Dave Matthews' band, would be able to go with me, but he's busy that day. So, Luis, I'm inviting you, if you will come to Arizona, to accompany me to this game. And I'm not kidding. It's row B, which is the second row, is behind home plate. So you'll be seeing the pitcher's balls flying at you all afternoon, which has to be exciting. Um, anyway, there you have it. I think it's pretty clear, Luis, that you need to come to Arizona because, you know, you could just get a million dollars standing outside the stadium and asking people for money because you look like Tim, even though, like I said, I don't think you look like him. And, uh, you know, I think it'd be pretty cool to meet a cab driver because I'm sure that Luis has, uh, taken many famous people in his cab, maybe even Stefan or members of the Dave Matthews Band. So just think about it. It'll be fun and it'll be worth your while. So.